Welcome to Bedtime Bartender. My name is Matthew, and on this channel, we learn how to make drinks after the babies go to bed. Tonight, we're going to be making liqueur forward cocktails. Specifically, we're going to be making a requested cocktail. This one is for you, Katie. This is the lemon bar. I don't need that yet. Let's chill down our glass. Let's grab some lemon peel. We'll go ahead and cut our lemon in half. Move these things around for a quick second. And I need to take some of that and, you know what, that's as chilled as our glass is gonna get for now because I need to do this. We're gonna rim our glass in powdered sugar. I'm trying my best not to get it inside the glass. I said this before I did anything and you could easily, if you wanted to, um, dust it over the top. Sometimes it tends to get down inside the glass. so. This is how we're doing it here. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. So we're making a lemon bar because Katie requested a lemon bar. She also requested it dairy free. A little bit more difficult, but I figured it out. So we're gonna move this stuff out of the way for a quick moment and grab our shaker. I need an ounce of Caravella Limoncello. Is it in front of me? Where is it at? Oh. <laughs> I need an ounce of Caravella Limoncello. That's 30 mil. I need half an ounce of Strone Vodka. Fifteen mil. Three quarters of an ounce of Xanthan gum, one to one, simple syrup, about yay, um, which is maybe three ounces or so, um, with two drops, actually make that three, of vanilla extract syrup. And we're going to need three quarters of an ounce. You'll see that Xanthan gum syrup is quite a bit thicker. We need that for this drink because we're trying to achieve that sort of lemon curd type flavor that it's in, or, or rather texture that's in a lemon bar. And what's also gonna help that is olive oil. I know what you're thinking, why, what? Well, trust me, it's good. Quarter ounce of olive oil. And lastly, no, not lastly, we actually have one more thing, but we're gonna need a pinch of salt. And then we need three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Set that there. So in order to achieve this texture without like an egg white, that's why we're using the olive oil, uh, also for flavor, but also the xanthan gum syrup instead of the regular one-to-one. -one. And then kind of like um, a sour, we're gonna dry shape this. It's gonna be up to you how long you want, but I'm gonna say a good 30 seconds, even on this one. We're trying to emulsify all of our ingredients. Also, because there's olive oil in there, it doesn't want to mix very well. 
but once it's all mixed in, it gives it a really lovely flavor and texture. So a lot of lemon bars will be made with like a shortbread. It's just not something we can do, or I could figure out how to do flavor-wise was to get shortbread into this cocktail. But what I could do is get sort of that fresh baked goodness with the olive oil and salt. You might be able to trade it out for butter for uh, non-dairy free, but that's not what we're doing. Okay, so we've dry shaken at least 30 seconds. For extra aeration, we're gonna go with a nice big piece and some smaller pieces for dilution and cold. And this will really take it out of you, shaking this long. This again is gonna be about 30 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna double strain into our prepared glass with our powdered sugar rim. Okay, we have now made the requested drink, vegan-free lemon bar. Vegan-free? No, it's not vegan-free. Well, it is vegan-free. I didn't put any vegans in here. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. Man, that's good. I'm really proud of this one. Actually, I'm proud of all my cocktails because they're fun and interesting and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it, but it tastes like a darn lemon bar. It really, really does. And uh, I hope you try it and hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the second uh, liqueur forward cocktail we're gonna make is the pomegranate elderflower cocktail. We're gonna need an ounce and a half of gin after we chill down our glass. I decided, by the way, to start doing this because, um, you know, you would normally chill down your glasses. But for the camera, you know, I, I thought, well, it doesn't look as good if I chill down the glasses. But you would do this at home. So we're going to chill down our glasses. I don't have freezer room, so I do it like this. Anyway, we're going to need, I'm going to skip the gin. And we're going to go to our lemon, actually. So I need a half an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon. Now, we'll go with that ounce and a half of gin. Half an ounce would be um, 15 mil. Ounce and a half would be 45 mil. Then we need an ounce of pomegranate juice. I did not juice pomegranates myself, I bought this. Normally, I, I'm a proponent for fresh squeezed juice, but have you tried to juice a pomegranate? It takes literally forever, and I do mean literally. So, I'm not doing that. Let's go with a half an ounce of St. Germain. This is that elderflower liqueur with botanicals and citrus, and it is one of my favorites. Actually, it looks, yeah, let me smell it. Oh man, it smells good. I love this stuff, love it. 
It's like a perfume bottle. Yeah, it does. It's really pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and wipe out our glass. Set this aside, grab a little bit more ice. Fifteen seconds. One of these days, I will get it. Not tonight, but one day. Okay, I'm gonna double strain into our glass after I move it over here. And then I want some lemon peel expressed. And this is a very pretty cocktail. So we're gonna give it as pretty as I can a garnish. With some lemon. You know what, it's only gonna stay like that. Okay, there we have the pomegranate elderflower cocktail. That's so good. So, the reason I chose these cocktails is because <clears throat> our liqueurs are super present in these cocktails. Even though we have more of our other ingredients, the elderflower really shines through on this one, and the pomegranate and gin really complement it, and it is a lovely drink. I hope you try it. So this is my take on the Gaiano Sour. I'm calling it the Gaiano Sunset. We're gonna need some Gaiano. One ounce, or 30 mil. Gaiano, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is sort of like absinthe and Saint Germain mixed together with quite a few more um, different flavors. And it is extremely good. I originally bought it for a Harvey Wall banger. You're gonna need one ounce or 30 mil of Gin Ro, which is a sweet rice wine um, spirit, real adjacent to um, what's the other stuff I'm thinking of? My brain's blank. Sake. Thank you very much. So, um, we're using it, it's sweet qualities because the Guiano, Guiano is really present in this drink. And the original is going to call for two ounces of this. But like I said, this is my variation on it. And it's still quite forward. We're going to need some honey syrup. About three eighths of an ounce. So in between your half and your quarter mark. There is another way to do it, which is to get one of these guys, the um, the other style of jigger. This is about three eighths of an ounce. So honey syrup is not quite one to one. Um, it's just a little bit more honey. We need two dashes of Angostura bitters. I don't know how to do three eighths ounce in milliliters. I really don't, sorry. And then I need a really nice big piece, a long piece. Of our lemon before we cut it. Not like that. And then I need to cut it. I'm going to take the end off, 
cut it in half there. And I need a full ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. I almost dropped that. That'll be 30 mil for you. Okay, fine. I didn't, I didn't want to give me all of it. Don't break it. <laughs> I can't promise anything. Look at these hands. Okay. So we didn't chill our glass right away. And it's because it's smaller glass and we've got a little bit more to do before we get to it. So let's grab our ice. It should go in the glass, not on your little thing I'm about here. Quick tips from bedtime bartender. 15 seconds or so. Actually, technically, the magic number is 12. It's 10 to 15. It's about 12 seconds. Let's see. Do you think I can get it this time? Just beat it until it opens. Okay. So I didn't want much in the way of dilution in that glass. Because we're going to be doing something that's a little bit different. We're not going to float anything on the top of our drink. You can see the Aperol that I've got here, like Campari's sweeter cousin. I am actually going to put it on the bottom of the glass. So let's double strain. I move this out of the way so you can see. That's a really lovely color. So we're going to do two things after I clean my hands just up a little bit. We're going to clean up our peel. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. We've got a nice big piece of peel here and I am slowly with a very sharp knife and not pressing too hard, keeping the curvature. I don't need all of the peel. I only need about, yay. And then I want to fold it. Actually, you know what I want to do is express it first. Just a little bit. We don't need much. Might as well not waste it though. It's great flavor. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to cut the end. And then I want to put about a halfway through a split between both pieces like that. We'll set that off to the side just for a quick moment. And I'm going to grab our Aperol after I wipe this out a little bit. Now I need a quarter ounce or 7.25 mil or 7.5 of Aperol. And what we're gonna do is put this down in the bottom of the glass. And this is why I'm calling it the Gaiano Sunset, because the last sip is bittersweet, much like a sunset. Sad to see it go, but it's so beautiful. 
it's the end of this drink is really where the treat is. And the Gaiano is present all the way throughout. And then to emulate a little bit of that sunset, we've got our colors here. Our orange, our red, our yellow. And there you go, the Gaiano sunset. It's really pretty and I don't want to drink it, but I'm going to. It's a great drink. The Gaiano Sour is a great drink. I'm really proud of this one. I, I love making cocktails. I know I've said it a hundred times before. Thank you guys so much. Um, I keep saying I'm proud of these. It's because I really, really like doing this. And um, I know this isn't the end of the video or anything, but thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you try one and uh, wait till you get to the bottom. It's gonna be a nice surprise. Thanks for joining us tonight as we made some liqueur forward cocktails. This is the special requested lemon bar. We have the pomegranate elderflower cocktail and the Gaiano Sour, no, Gaiano Sunset, a play on the Gaiano Sour. Thanks so much for joining us. If you like the video, hit the button and subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. Hit the bell for notifications so you can be notified of our next video and leave a comment down below. What would you like me to make next? Um, I've obviously made a, a special requested cocktail, a couple of them actually, and those are really, really fun, especially creating something brand new. And if you has, guys have ideas for the channel that you want me to do, including our other series where we're doing some classic cocktails, then let me know. And we will see you in the next one, so be good to each other. That's the end of it.